as usual, we begin the opening with opening the beer, which is today Two Wolves Premium Canadian Great Plains Brown Ale. This comes from Torque Brewing in Winnipeg. A portion of the profits of Two Wolves beer sold across the country will go to supporting the protection of wolf habitat in Canada. Buy a beer, save a wolf. This is a well-balanced beer with deep copper colors, aromas of roasted malt, cocoa, and caramel. Mmm. Well, that's pleasing. Let's, uh, let's get after some of these packages. First one, as usual, comes from China. This calls itself Self Timer Phone Clip. Um, okay. That is a phone holder clip. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing that I use on my tripods and everything else to uh, to hold my phone, which I'm using there for uh, for a camera. Uh, seems to open up pretty reasonably. Okay, so that's not a surprise there. This thing, though, what the hell is this? Um, okay. Yeah, um, that's, uh, interesting. Let's peel this sticker off the back. There, looks like there's a couple of screws in there. Which I assume are... Uh, ow! What the hell? I got a shock. When I pushed that button, I wasn't touching anything else. Let me do that again. Okay. Maybe that sticker is. Um. I'm gonna go look at the listing. Universal smartphone tripod mount holder adapter mobile phone bracket mono uh, K2C1. I assume that means monopod. Uh, I got this from uh, Elba Coco. Um. The current selling price is a buck sixty-three. I paid a dollar six back in February, I guess, for this thing, um, and it is just exactly what it looks like and what I showed you. It's a phone holder for clamping onto a tripod. I I grabbed this one because I use them quite often, and it's just a pain in the butt to keep uh, taking it on and off of different tripods and different camera mounts and stuff. So now I've got another one. So I can uh, hopefully do this, whatever it is that I'm doing, a little bit uh, easier. One piece electric shock baton stick toy utility gadget prank funny trick gadget Joe X9F8. Again from Albacoco. Uh, they're currently selling it for, it looks like $2.74. Uh, I got it at auction for $1.94 again back in February. So, so this... Su picture suggests that there's all kinds of shocking sparks come out the end there. Oh no, she's shocked. Ooh, ah, other accessories, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, it will not cause harm to the body within the pressure range of the human body. Miners need to be used under pressure, super, yeah. So it looks like it's probably just very similar to all these little novelty, gives you a light shock kind of devices. Okay, well. All right, what is the next thing here? Ten pieces new and part numbers and stuff. Okay. Ah, looks like some ICs. What are you guys? 74HC595N. That sounds familiar. Ten pieces new, two to six volt uh, top, whatever that means, 74 HC595, 8-bit shift register, DIP16 IC. Ah, shift registers, that's why it sounds familiar. Uh, got these from King Electronics 15. Uh, I paid $1.33 for these, just buy it now. And they were free shipping when I ordered them back in... Uh, back in January, wow. So these are fairly common, and I think I played with them in a previous video, um which is probably what triggered me to buy more than just the single one that I had kicking around here. Anyway, um, it is a shift register. It is 8-bit serial in with a parallel out shift. 
And the next thing in is a nice rattly package. Uh, GST 254 millimeter times one. Sounds like there's more than one in there. Ah, nice little assortment pack. Okay, so these are little latching um, type JST connectors. So there's two pin one, male and female. Uh, keyed. All right. And then there's three pin, four pin, and five pin. Plus the male and female little crimp pins. New 200 pieces JST 2.54 millimeter male female wire jumper pin SM plug connector housing kit. I got this from One by France, which is located in Shenzhen, China. Of course it is. Back when I bought it in January, uh, they were charging $6.50 with free shipping. Sorry, $6.57 with free shipping. Currently they're selling it for almost twice that. Um, and they will ship to Canada. How nice of them. Not much information down below here. 200 pieces. They are in strip shape. They are 2.54 millimeter. They are low frequency. Sure, whatever. They're, con they're copper. I don't think so. They are plastic. Yeah. There's other sellers selling similar things for pretty much the same price at the moment. Okay. Now then, as has happened several times recently and i'm always surprised and amazed and impressed when this happens i got some stuff sent from viewers like you to my p.o box this particular one came from my buddy simple electronics in ontario um, last time he sent me a circuit board that he had designed uh, in kit form so i'm wondering what this is it has a note Mr. Pyle, glad you've been finding time to post videos since you're essential. Um, yeah, well, that's what my boss tells me. He says he's been too busy, but mostly lazy. Ah, actually, no, he's been posting tons of videos lately, too. This can be built like a kit or used as a coaster, but the designer is terrible, so the square LED pads are, yeah, okay, and TP1 is positive. Oh, hey, it is a kit. <laughs> or used as a coaster. <laughs> he knows me. Let's see. Let's get this out of here. Well, this is pretty cool. Um, a lot of the electronics channels on YouTube have been designing circuit boards lately. I'm not so, uh, so into that myself. Um, I, I like messing with the circuit, but I'm not uh, that interested in making it permanent. Hmm, do I use this as a coaster? My pint glass just barely fits. No, I think I'll do it up as a kit. Hmm, so three LEDs, three resistors, bit of tape goop from the packaging, and power coming in. I mean, it's not the most complicated circuit in the world. It's a solid little circuit board though, but that's, <laughs> that's kind of fun. And that's, uh, his logo and his merchandising. Now I remember when, when he, uh, did a video, did a quick video showing these things off. He said that his logo is something familiar. Um, hang on. That's what it is. It's a 50, 50 led. <laughs> Clever. Oh, and I wonder, since these LEDs, these 5050s, are RGBs, and he's got the LEDs on these positioned. Nah. Did he include red, green, and blue LEDs? Oh, we'll just have to find that out when we put this thing together at some point in the future. And now, winning the award for longest distance traveled and highest postage paid. Wow. I have this which is another gift from Anthony from Australia. Um, I'm not sure if you wanted your information shown, so I figured I'd block it out. But you know who you are, you generous person. So let's see what he has sent. Um, this one, I it's been beat up a little bit by the post office. You can see that there's a 
little knob poking through there. Recently he saw me commenting on Gadget Reboot's channel about his SMD to DIP 1206 adapters. He thought he'd send me a few plus some other goodies. So I got a USB ASP adapter programmer for DIP 8 AVR. Uh, which would be the ATtiny 13, but also probably the ATtiny 85. A jewel thief. Oh, neat. That can put out enough power to run a microcontroller, a 555 timer. Uh, I, I do like 555 kits. And some uh, 1206 SMD adapters. Take care. Oh, okay. And uh, I guess I could have shown his uh, information. But anyway, there's his website, onecircuit.blogspot.com uh, in Tasmania. Of Australia. P.S. During the COVID-19 lockdown, he made a stout homebrew. Should be drinking it by the time you get this. Well, cheers. Thank you so much. Well, then let's look at the goodies that uh, Anthony sent me here. We have, uh, that's the 555 timer. Ah, one assembled kit and one bare board that I can assemble with my components. And this is the one that the post office abused so horribly. Let's see. Man, that's all there. I think the amount that you paid to get this thing here, they'd be a bit more gentle. Okay. Set that back upright. Solder didn't get cracked. That's good. Standoffs are still good. So with these little suitcase jumpers here, you can select one of three different capacitors to give you different ranges of timing and then variable output uh, speed there within those three ranges. Very slick. What else do we have? 1202 adapters, or sorry, 1206 adapters. So 1206 being a surface mount uh, component footprint. And there are some that he's included already with a couple of resistors in series with a couple of LEDs. Hello. So obviously, uh, he so he's got uh, the resistor in series with the LED, so I should be able to just go like that. Ta-da! That's handy. Um, and some more there with some... Let's see what those LEDs are. Right, they're the other way around. Of course they are. Ooh. Different val oh wow. There we go. So that actually could be a pretty handy little thing just when I'm playing with a microcontroller or something, just to uh just to have some handy little LED things. And then you can put any 1206 component on there that you want. And he's sent me several of the little boards to use. Ha, ah, cool. What else do we have here? A USB ASP adapter. So that is, as he mentioned in his note. A programming adapter for the little AVR uh, 8-pin microcontrollers uh, coming from the USB ASP um, USB to serial adapter. This guy right here. You just plug that into there, that into your computer, and you can program your chips. And then the 8 pins of the chip are broken out onto that header. Well, that's very cool. What chip did he happen to include in there? At Mill Tiny 13A, which is not one that I've had a chance to play with yet. So that's a netted bonus. And I noticed that it's sitting on a little adapter board on top of an 8 pin uh, dip. So I could plug in some of the AT Tiny 85s that I have sitting loose around here too into that to program them. That is fortuitous because I was actually shopping for something like this. Oh, very nice. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, it's another one. It's it's the 555 kit again, but this one he's included components. Dude. Okay, we've already looked at that. And this one is a Jewel Thief kit. So this is the Jewel Thief that he said in the note is powerful enough to power uh, a microcontroller such as this AT Tiny 13 that he included. So I guess it charges that, is that 47 microfarad capacitor up enough to, uh, to power that. 
what do we have for components in on here? Actually, hang on. I don't need to read the legends on that board because there's another one right there. So we have one of these QX5252 chips, which is kind of the all-in-one um, little all-in-one chip that uh, does the Jewel Thief type uh, job. We have a Zener. We have a straight... Uh, one in 4114B, just, just your basic rectifier diode. Um, a solar panel connection. Nickel metal hydride battery connection. Z capacitor, an output voltage, and an inductor. Hmm, so he does two different versions of that board. Wow. That is so very slick. Oh, and there is this board again. Okay. With the AT Tiny on there. Very, very cool. Wonder if he put a program. No, I'm going to play with those in a separate video too. Um, those two specifically. Um, which will also let me get my feet wet a little bit on the uh, this AT Tiny 13, which I haven't had a chance to play with before. Wow, Anthony, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Um, these are some cool little boards. So here's Anthony's blog spot. Um, I'll put a link down below. This is, man, he set himself quite the challenge. He's featuring a circuit, a different circuit once a week. Wow. He's been doing it for over a year. Here's that little jewel thief circuit that he, uh, he sent me a copy of, uh, uh, solar panel and that, uh, little QX 5252. Come to think of it, I think I've got some of those around here somewhere that I ordered, just to play with. Yeah, there's the uh, there's that one circuit board that he sent. Actually, there's those two circuit boards that he sent. Oh, very neat. And that looks like that uh, AT Tiny uh, programmer that he uh, he sent me there. Okay. I'm guessing that he's got most of these things uh, featured somewhere on here. Yep. There's that little five 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 board that he uh, sent me a couple of. Very neat. And his story about building those. Oh, and a link to a video too. Okay, and he's also got a YouTube channel, which I'll put a link to as well. Very neat. Thanks, man. I do appreciate all of this goodness. Wow. Once again, an embarrassment of riches from my mailbox. And from my post office box as well. Um... So quickly, the stuff from China, um, this 200 piece assortment kit took 65 days to get here, um, ordered back before the pandemic was really horrendous. Um, the 10 pieces of IC of shift registers also took 50 days. Well, it took 50 days. Uh, and the phone holder and the toy novelty people's Republic of China shock stick, uh, it took 37 days to get here. Hmm. Uh, and all this goodness from Anthony from Australia it took 17 days to get here. And I couldn't read the postmark on this thing from Simple Electronics, but I'm guessing it took about two weeks to get here from Ontario. So as usual, who the hell knows how long it's going to take stuff to get anywhere in the post office. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to, uh, putting these things to use that I'm going to put to use right away. This goofy little thing, I think it will tear it down at some point. So I've discovered a couple of things just picking it up and playing with it. This little metallic sticker is actually part of the circuit. So if you touch that button and that, you get a little zorp. If you touch just this top button, it turns on the shocking LED at the front. And if you touch these, I don't think anything happens. No. Um, okay, that aside... That's going to be a fun little, uh, fun little, simple little quick thing to throw together. And thanks to my buddy Simple Electronics for sending that along. And once again, thanks to Anthony, um, onecircuit.blogspot.com, uh, for sending all these wonders and joys to me. Um, you will be seeing all this stuff at some point in the future, uh, guaranteed these things several times, probably. Uh, yeah, um... So thanks to these guys for sending it. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me buy this silly stuff over here. Um, and thanks to all of you for watching. 
Cheers. <laughs>